Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for joining the UK IPv6 Council annual meeting. I think when we had our meeting a year ago on 12th of December in London at the Facebook office, nobody could imagine that uh, a year later we would not be able to meet in person. Um, the, it in, what's happening in the world is impacting everybody. Um, so we thought about this quite a bit uh, with the council core team and we thought we still have uh, quite a lot of interesting information and material to share with the wider community and we decided to organize this meeting even though it's not the usual day-long uh, conference as we are used to uh, and it's virtual um, but hopefully things going well we will be able to meet in person um, you know next year um, on a big conference uh, probably in, in a year time but hopefully we'll have some smaller events also throughout the year so for those who are new to UK IPv6 Council. My name is Veronica McKillop and I'm the founder and the chair of this um, council. Together with me is Tim Chown. Uh, he is my co-chair and we've got a core team of, I think it's about seven or eight of us from different companies and organizations. And we basically work together to prepare all these interesting events to you and connect you with people who are working on exciting IPv6 projects. The main point is really that people can learn from each other because that's where we saw the gap about seven years ago when we started a council in 2014. So Tim already mentioned that this presentation, this meeting is being recorded. We will share that. Um, most of the presentations are online on our website. I'm not sure if I share that in the outgoing email, but I believe that Tim, he also posted the link in the chat, so you are able to get access to the presentation there. How is this afternoon um, organized? So right now we are um, at the beginning of the meeting, then um, we will very swiftly uh, switch gears to something that is still very radical uh, thought for lots of people especially people who have not actually started with any IPv6 deployments, not even testing. Uh, I'm really pleased we've got here Colin and Ian from Athlon Institute of Technology in Ireland, and they will be sharing their IPv6 only experience uh, when they were um, setting up and building a new network in their student halls. So that's going to be uh, quite interesting. Then uh, I'm very happy we've got Pavel Odinsov here from Fastnetmon, who will be talking about DDoS challenges uh, in IPv6 environment, uh, because right now when you ask any well, standard vendor and ask them, you know, so what do you see in your um, um, socks, you know, in, when you monitor your DDoS um, deployment globally with, within your customers, they are, oh, we don't see much with IPv6, but we know the deployments are growing as we will see uh, on one of the slides later. So that will be very good to, to hear uh, Pavel share his wisdom with us. Then we'll have a short tea and coffee break. Uh, we will stay, the meeting will be connected. So you are just free to step out, you know, grab yourself a drink. And then uh, we will uh, move to a local deployment, <coughs> uh, which is uh, with Sam from Community Fiber. Community Fiber, they received the Jim Bound Award in 2019 for their quite rapid IPv6 deployment. So I'm really pleased that Sam has time to um, share with us uh, how things have changed in the last year because they have actually hit some interesting statistics and uh, in terms of um, uh, completeness of, of their deployment. Then we'll have a little bit of space for any ISPs that are here on this call. Uh, they, and anybody actually who is really working on IPv6 projects, uh, there will be hopefully a little bit of time to um, talk about your own initiatives. Uh, we might have more time than we think because uh, Eric uh, from Akamai, he just shared with me uh, overnight that uh, he's based in the Boston area and the forecast for them is a uh, quite bad blizzard. So he's hopefully be able to join and uh, not cut off you know, from power and internet. Um, if Eric is not able to join us, we've got here Fernando, so he can uh, step in and probably start presenting a little bit earlier, and then we will simply have more time for um, any further discussions and topics that you would like to cover. So in terms of housekeeping for today, um, already mentioned everything's being recorded. Presentation, presentations are posted online on our website under the event. 
you'll have to go to the website and uh, select events from the tabs on top and you will see um, the events website. While people are presenting, I think this is a year of Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, BlueJeans, whatever you are using, you know, Google Hangouts, everybody is well familiar with an etiquette to just uh, stay, uh, you know, stay muted while other people are presenting. Uh, there will be always space for questions or I, we will leave it to the presenters if they want to uh, take questions during their presentation. You know, you can post them in the chat and the moderators, me and Tim, we can uh, then bring them up to the attention of the presenters. If you want to uh, receive updates on our future events, so we basically uh, promote our activities through a LinkedIn group. Um, you just simply, simply need to join it. And we also, um, well, we post them on the website. If you feel like it, tweet about the meeting. Um, and just to conclude these agenda slides, I want to really thank very much Tim because thanks to his um, uh, company, thanks to JISC, we actually are able to have this meeting on Zoom. So thank you very much, Tim. Okay.